Only a few days after revealing its new gigacasting method, which Toyota says can reduce 88 parts into one and save thousands of dollars per car in terms of production cost, it's now revealed what it appears to be robots that work using artificial intelligence. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans, and you're watching The Electric Bike. Robots have not quite yet been able to be programmed to be like humans, as in able to learn like a child. That's artificial intelligence. That's what Tesla was working on with its neural networks, with its dojo supercomputer. Teaching robots is usually today code intensive work, but Toyota has found a way to allow a human to show a robot to perform a task, which it can then repeat. This is sort of like, a limited version of artificial intelligence in robotics. Incredibly, this is actually quite impressive if it's in fact true. Now, to be fair, a lot of Toyota's claims in the past, especially about its battery technology, haven't really actually been correct. But in this case, it appears as though Toyota has in fact invented a very impressive way to potentially save a lot of money in car production. Teaching is a challenging task, particularly when it comes to robots. And instructing a robot how to execute a new task requires the creation of complex code. The robot then needs to adhere to this code, and sometimes that doesn't work. However, Toyota has now come up with a method to quickly, as in very quickly, and effortlessly show a robot to how to do something, then the robot can actually copy the human and well, save Toyota a lot of money and provide um, them with more profits and eliminate jobs. So this is basically the future of car manufacturing. A lot of works councils, unions are very concerned that with EVs and with the future technology, human beings won't be needed in the production of a car. Now, obviously, some of this comes from the concern about China, robotics, but also uh, Tesla working on its own robotics and its own bot, which should be able to replace people eventually. Kind of like what Toyota is doing as well. Working with Columbia University, the Toyota Research Institute used a generative AI approach called diffusion policy to find a new way to teach robots new behaviors at a much faster rate than was previously possible. Seems like quite a breakthrough. The tasks that I'm watching these robots perform are simply amazing. Even one year ago, I would not have predicted that we were close to this level of diverse dexterity, said Russ T. Drake, the VP of Robotics Research at TRI. What is so exciting about this new approach is the, is the rate and reliability with which we can add new skills to the robots. The technology requires a human, says carscoops.com, to use a tele-robotics kit to show the robot how to perform a task using levers and handles that provide the human with haptic feedback of what the robot is feeling, the person can effectively control the robot directly. According to insiders who have seen what's been happening, Toyota's researchers now can teach a robot new behavior in a single afternoon. This allows the robot to learn through the night and witness the robot's flawless execution of the new task in the following morning. Apparently this is happening now. It's actually quite impressive, I have to admit. Because these skills work diff directly from camera images and tactile sensing, using only learned representations, they are able to perform well, even on tasks that involve deformable objects, cloth, and liquids, all of which have traditionally been extremely difficult for robots to perform. Working in the same way or a similar way as the large language models that power conversational artificial intelligence, the technology has already allowed Toyota to teach its robots more than 60 difficult skills that require high amounts of dexterity. This is coming as quite a shock to the industry. I don't think anyone realized just how impressive uh, Toyota's new robotics technology actually is. These expand beyond the pick and place tasks that similar robots were previously capable of. They include pouring liquids, using tools, manipulating deformable objects, and Toyota hopes to teach the robots hundreds of skills by the end of the year, 
at least 1,000 by the end of 2024, and thereby be able to possibly eliminate half of its workforce. Now, Toyota haven't said that publicly, of course, but considering the fact that company has 190 billion US dollars in debt, more debt than any other company in the world, uh, that debt is primarily bad debt, and Toyota is currently not making EVs seriously. I mean, 0.3% of their production last year was electric. This could possibly help save the company. While it does not specify exactly what the technology or the robots will be used for, the addition of dexterous robots that can be easily taught new skills will, of course, be deployed at Toyota's many manufacturing plants around the world within the next two years. Our research in robotics is aimed at amplifying people rather than replacing them, said Jill Pratt, CEO of the Toyota Robotics Institute and chief scientist for Toyota Motor Corporation. This new teaching technique is both very efficient and produces very high performing behaviors, enabling robots to much more effectively amplify people in many ways. Now, to be fair, I think it's unlikely that Toyota is the only company in the world that will deploy this technology over the next two years. In fact, the truth is that many, many companies are working on robotics and have different versions of this kind of technology. However, it is impressive to see just how far along Toyota is in this area. Probably what's the scariest part of all, though, is seeing just how capable robots are now of replacing humans, especially when it comes to performing things like manual labor, complex manual labor that requires dexterity and human hand-like interactions. Now, we don't really have many advantages over robots. Skynet, anyone? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.